is up, family. Mr. How are y'all doing today? How are things? What's going on? How's life? No, give me, give me, give me your your best interest. You feel me? I want to know what's going on in your life if you let me. You feel me? It's like what we do in my channel. You know, we talk and we communicate and we become family. Family. Okay, so today's video is going to be a 50 facts about me tag tag video okay that's what I'm doing today okay I actually got this idea from my homegirl Essence Nicole if y'all not subscribed to her y'all need to be but I'm sure you are because hello she's popping um so yeah go check her out she has my single 89 as her intro for her videos so that's pretty dope wanna go see that go check that out I have my 50 facts written in my lovely lovely phone show you the beautiful oh you like my henna tattoo it's cute right yeah show you mr. West, mr. West, mr. West. we're gonna get right into it because because y'all I'm I get so many questions about me and they're like random as hell so they're not about like a boy they're about like random random things so i'm gonna i'm gonna just give y'all some random things so <clears throat> let me pull up the list i'm gonna put like the little numbers and stuff right here okay number one my favorite color as you can tell is lime green that is my favorite color on earth it's been my favorite color for for a while sure you don't know that many females who like green but i do so you met one today number two I am currently a spring semester junior in college right now. Uh, I might look like I'm 12, but I'm not. Number three, my major in college is vocal performance and jazz studies. Wait for it. My minor is music business, entrepreneurship, and technology. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a paragraph. <laughs> Number four, as I just mentioned, I will be 21, so I that makes me 20 years old. You feel me? Number five, number cinco. I am a Virgo. That is my sign. So if you believe in horoscopes and stuff like that, look me up and see if we match or if we're friends or if we're compatible or if we're not compatible or if we're like, you know, against each other. Like, I don't know. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> number six, I started singing when I was two years old, just about. Um, that's, that's, that's what my family told me, so that's what I'm gonna go with unless they lie number seven i was born and raised in manhattan new york city you already know number eight it's not gonna use my fingers because i'm gonna put them damn all right number eight i have light brown hazel eyes can you tell can you tell can you tell <laughs> i look like a burnt chicken nugget all right number nine number nine my favorite number oh that's another fact that's not on this list. Ooh. My mother, my grandmother, my uncle, and my godmother all mean the freaking world to me. Like, y'all don't understand. That is, that's my life, okay? 10. I am ambidextrous. Definition. Ambidextrous. Psh, we just gonna push this damn definition to the side. Basically means that you can write with both hands and do things with your with, with both hands. I'm originally a righty, hey y'all, I actually broke or sprained my wrist when I was younger, about 13 years old. I had to learn how to write with my left hand, and here we are, a talented soul. Number 11, this is a question that everyone and their mother's mother's cousin's father's sister has been asking me. What are you mixed with? Let me tell you. I am Dominican, Russian, Dutch, and Puerto Rican. Yeah, uh, no more asking, no more asking. 12, I am a sucker for art. I love artwork, love artwork, especially when it, incorpor especially when it incorporates hip hop, music, anything like that, or even if you make something of me. Hey, I love artwork, so send me some artwork. Number 13, mac and cheese is literally the love of my life. I could buy mac and cheese and then keep it where it doesn't get nasty or bad and marry it i don't think y'all understand my honest to god love for this food why it is 
so good that I have to sit here and consider matrimony. But um, what the fuck ever, okay? Don't judge me. Number 14, I've only had iPhones all of my life. No, that does not mean I am spoiled. That just simply means I've never had a flip phone or never had a sidekick. I've never had a Blackberry. I've literally had iPhones all my life from the time the iPhone came out to now. Really upgraded. So I would get like the 3, the 3G, the 4, the 4S, the 5, the 5C, and now I have the 6S. My contract don't end till like next year, so iPhone 8, holla at me. 15, I've had pneumonia twice in my life. Once when I was a baby and the second time I was about 13. A lot happened at 13 years old, Jesus Christ. 16, I play piano and actually used to play flute when I was younger. Those are about the only instruments I've ever experienced with or have taught myself how to play. Other than that, I'm not the best at piano, so don't think I'm like fucking Mozart. This one, 17. I started writing songs at the age of 9. Some of you may know that because I have mentioned it before, but yeah, I've been writing for elves. Number 18. My mother is the only one who can calm me down. Seriously. Like, the only one that can calm me down. When I get mad and when I get the attitude, she be the one that put me in motherfucking check. Nobody else could do that. Nobody. Because I'm going to take you seriously. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm gonna laugh in your face. 19, I currently go to school in Philly. That is something most of y'all already knew, but because people still ask me where I'm from, where do I live, and where do I currently go to school, three different places, this is where I go to school, this is where I dorm, so this is where you'll see me at most times. If you see me in this dorm with a whole bunch of green stuff, that is my dorm in Philadelphia. 20, this is something I did not wanna share with nobody because, well, yeah, nobody. My full name, is actually Dejanique Brianna Cole, not Deja. Deja is like half of my first name. My full name will kind of explain my race in a way because it's so foreign that it's... Anyway, 21, Mr. I hate my first name with a freaking passion, so nobody calls me that, and if you dare call me that, I will block you and delete you out of my life. Playing no damn game, so we're just gonna end that right here. Number 22, I've only had two real boyfriends in my life. Two, 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 two boys. Number 23, favorite movie is Juno. I don't know if anybody knows that movie because every time I say this to somebody, they look at me like I got three foreheads. Let you know that Juno is actually a movie about a 16 year old girl who gets pregnant and she's weird as hell and I love it. And she has a hamburger phone and it's great. You need to watch it. You, I'm just gonna shut up right here. Number 24, I have a really bad attitude knows me personally or has dealt with me in the past or still is cool with me but tolerates it i don't know why i'm so sorry but yo i got a really bad attitude it's bad i'm i'm working on it it's you know I'm, i've gotten better my patience is like child 25 i am super afraid of heights i've literally gone on every roller coaster on in six flags just so that just so that like my aunt forced me to go so that i will never go on them again I hate roller coasters. I hate heights. I will only do them just to conquer the fear, but I will not do it to for, for enjoyment or excitement. No, it's so exciting about you almost dying. I'm not with the shits. Like, I'm... Ah! 26. I love scary movies. Scary movies is my shit from morning to night, like, and laugh at the whole shit because I know that there's special effects. I know it's not real. I know it's fucking fake. Only scary movies I'm a little iffy about are the ones that like jump at you or like scary faces and shit like that. I don't, I don't know. Gory stuff? I'm all for it. 27. I am an old school hip hop head and I'm an old soul. As you can see, like I'm super into the 90s. Like that's my shit. That's, that's where we're ending that. Number 28. I used to work at Party City. I literally worked there for like a week and then quit. Like, true story, I worked at Party City for a week. Seven days, maybe five, I don't know, because it was Monday to Friday. I literally only worked there for a week and dipped. It was not because I gave up on it or anything like that. It was because one, it wasn't for me, and two, I found a better job that paid more. So sis, bye. Number 29, I wrote songs for choirs, artists you probably listen to, and friends. I've written music for a lot of people. Number 30, I went to Catholic school from kindergarten to eighth grade. So 
I didn't literally, I literally didn't go to public school until high school. I am not even Catholic. Why did my mom put me in a Catholic school, sis? We don't know. Number 31, I am the only child on my mother's side. Number 32, I now have two stepbrothers on my mother's side. She just got married and two stepbrothers on my father's side. He got married too. We just the whole damn Brady Bunch, you feel? Number 33, I used to be 107 pounds. I said 107 like I'm a fucking scientific calculator, sorry. At the age of 16, and now I am 135, so clearly we're healthier in the right places. Number 34, I am 5'4". That's me. That's, that's me. Like, I'm short. I'm average height for a female, so like super, super, super little mini short, but Mystery. I'm definitely not tall. Like, no. Mm -mm. If you are 5'9 and up, you're tall to me. 35. My shoe size is a 6.5 in boys and an 8.5 in women. I am a huge sneakerhead, so I don't know if I put that there. I didn't, but whatever. Now you know. Number 36. I am extremely loyal and a ride or die. Huge, 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 huge loyal person. Like, I've never cheated on anybody. I've never done anybody, like, super wrong. I've never, like, tried to take somebody's man. Like, that will never be me. It's not going to be me. So, sis, we just gonna end that right here. I don't do nobody the way people do me. Number 37. I am super blunt, and it gets me in trouble sometimes. I don't understand. Like, I sometimes my mouth gets me in trouble because I be saying shit people are afraid to say. Because I don't care. I care about your feelings. I care about your feelings. I'm not gonna stop myself from saying what I gotta say because you have a problem with it. One thing I feel like you need to hear. Like if we have an issue, I'm gonna talk to you about it. You feel me? Especially because I care. I don't talk to you about it, I don't care. So you should be worried. 38. I am a huge picky eater. Huge picky eater. My mother literally worked all day. So by the time I got home, it was either Chef Boyardee or die. Like that was, that's what I rocked with. So I mean, I just gotta work with what's best for me and my taste buds because my taste buds didn't get much experience back then. You feel me? Vegetables I don't fuck with, like onions and peppers and stuff like that. Like, it look good, but I don't seem, like, I've tried it and I just be like, mm-mm, put it down, Deja, because you won't, mm, mm Number 39, I have four, four tattoos and seven piercings. Now, I am going to tell you right now that the seven piercings, two are on my nose and the rest are on my ears. I don't have any piercings below my neck. So don't even try it, because I know y'all little dirty nasties. Tattoos, if you follow me on social media, you will see that I do post pictures where you'll see my tattoos. But more than likely, you won't, like, see my tattoos. So you can't even see this one, like, these, these two right here. And then everybody knows, like, the one on my neck, which is, like, if that shows. But, yeah, the one on my neck hurt like a bitch, and, yeah, y'all should just know that, because it's on my neck. Number 40. My inspiration is Kanye West. Let me zoom the fuck. Let me, let me get that for you. That man right up there is my life, okay? That man is my life, and he will continue to be my life. He's great. And for those who disagree, that is fine. You know, you are you are entitled to your own opinion. I am very inspired by him, and I just think he's... I don't see him as a god or anything. Like, I don't sit here and fucking kneel to this poster. I definitely see his ideas and I see why he's so misunderstood. For 41, I have really bad anxiety and I'm always worrying about anything. I don't even know these people. I don't even know these people. But if I see two people on my right or on my left talk, like talking and looking at me, I automatically think they're talking about me. It's something negative. Like, I automatically think, I don't know why. I don't even be doing shit. But like, I always think for some reason that something is wrong or like I did something to somebody or like I don't know number 42 I am an honor student I've been an honor student since my junior year of high school number 43 my birthday is September 19 1996 Number 44 I get annoyed so easily so easily I don't know 45 we're almost at the end I don't know how to ride a bike do not come for me don't make fun of me, don't judge me, don't laugh at me. I mean, maybe you could laugh at me, it's pretty funny. Like, 20 years old, don't know how to ride a motherfucking bike, like. 46, my goal for this music thing is to definitely provide and give back to my family. 47, I have my permit and soon will get my license, possibly this summer. Baby steps, baby steps. 48, I hate 
repeating myself. Every time I say one thing one time, nobody understands me. I feel like I'm speaking Swahili. I myself 20 times for you to get one sentence. A word, a letter, something, a vowel. 49. My mother had me at 19 years old. But not freaking least, number 50. My dream vacation is to go to Paris. Definitely want to go to France so freaking bad. Y'all don't even understand. I'm there, I want to tour there. I want to experience life there. Like, it's just so beautiful. And I also want to go to India. You can see I have this beautiful henna right here. And just in love with other cultures. But yeah, that is the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me because... People have been asking, and I'm here to answer. Thank y'all for tuning in, family, and I'll see y'all next motherfucking week. Because we got another video coming at 6 p.m. Like, what? And subscribe if you haven't, and become a part of the family. All right, I'm out. Bye. I don't want to see the light. I don't want to take no seats. I'm your rhythm, you're my night